hello guys welcome to the first video tutorial on mysql for beginners and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install and configure mysql on your windows operating system i'm using windows 8.1 as my operating system but this procedure you can use it for windows 7 or windows 8 also so let's get started first of all we are going to download and install uh, MySQL uh, on our computer. So go to uh, your browser and search for mysql.com and you will see this uh, website called mysql www.mysql.com so just open this website or what you can do is you can just only search for mysql and this will present you this mysql website okay and once you are in mysql.com website so go to mysql.com in here you will see some of the links uh, related to mysql and you will see mysql the world world's most popular open source database so in here uh, you need to click this link downloads link here okay so click this download link and in here you will see different uh, flavors of mysql database mysql community server mysql cluster fabric utilities workbench and there are so many uh, tools for mysql but what we are going to do is we are going to uh, install mysql community server as a whole so we will install mysql server and we will also install mysql workbench to work with mysql so what i will do is i will go to this link which is mysql community server and scroll down a little and you will see this uh, section here which says uh, mysql community server whatever is the latest version at the time of making this video the latest version is 5.6.19 and I want to install this MySQL community server as a whole for Windows so uh, it's already selected here or otherwise if you are installing a MySQL server for other operating system you can choose your operating system from here and select your operating system and then download this MSI file okay so just click this download here windows 64 bit mysql installer okay so i will click this download and it will uh, lead me to this next link and in here it will ask me if i want to um, if i want to download this for uh, this version or this version okay so i will choose this first version to download windows x86 32 bit msi and i will download it but first you just need to see this line here which is in the note uh, it's saying mysql installer is 32 bit right so mysql installer is 32 bit but the install is for both 64 bit binaries and 32 bit binaries so if you are seeing this is uh, 32 bit don't worry it will be uh, it can be installed on 64 bit because mysql installer is 32 bit uh, uh, installer okay so just select this first link download and in here it will see say uh, to log in or sign up so if you want to create a account in mysql then you can create an account or if you already have an account in mysql then you can create uh, you can log in with your account or uh, the third option is if you don't want to uh, log in or sign up you can just click this link no thanks just start download okay so I'm going to click this link no thanks just start download and my, my download will start and it's a fairly small uh, executable file to download so it will be downloaded in uh, really a uh, few seconds 
and once it's downloaded just click this uh, executable file and the installation will start and you see here installation is starting and click yes and click yes once again and it's saying please wait while the MySQL server processes the current operation so it will take uh, about 10 to 15 minutes to install uh, MySQL so be patient and just go step by step and now you can see this uh, window here which says install MySQL product about MySQL and resources so I'm going to click this option install MySQL product and now my installation will start but before uh, starting the installation you need to accept the license terms so just click this I accept the license terms and on the left hand side you will see this column and you will see some categories here so it will go one category after another and when you go or when you reach to this category called complete your installation will be complete so keep an eye here and for now I will accept the terms and condition and I will click next and it's saying find the latest product so I will just click uh, execute and it will find the uh, internet connection and fetch the products from the internet so I will just click execute from here and you see connect to the internet is successful and uh, I'm ready to go further so I will click next and in here you can choose the type of setup you want I want uh, this MySQL for development use so I will uh, just keep this radio button checked as developer default okay and I will click next and it's in in here it's uh, showing some of the requirements so for example you already have uh, uh, some visual studio installed in your system so it's saying that this uh, .NET uh, framework requires uh, some of uh, the MySQL DLL and if you want to add these DLL which supports MySQL framework or for .NET then you can see here all the requirement will be uh, will be listed here and it's always a uh, good uh, habit to install your language first for example if you want to develop C sharp and MySQL uh, uh, MySQL application then install Visual Studio first and then install MySQL otherwise uh, you will not be able to see these uh, requirement and whenever you uh, install MySQL uh, it will not show you these option and it will not configure uh, the, the support for the .NET framework so it's always a good idea to install your language uh, first for example C sharp or uh, Visual Basic uh, in the form of Visual Studio and then install MySQL so it has listed uh, the requirement I will click execute and it has installed one more requirement from here and I will say I have read and accept the license terms and condition and I will say install it's installing the support for Visual Studio you see here and click finish and now I can see all the green checks here that means all the support is available I can uh, click the next button now and now these are the processes uh, which will take place when you click this execute button so first this will be downloaded and one by one all the all the tools for MySQL will be downloaded and installed so just execute 
or, or click this execute button and one by one these download will uh, start and all the download will take place and when all the download uh, will be completed we will uh, reach to the configuration so I will pause the video here because it's uh, downloading all the tools and there is not uh, much happening here so once this all the downloading of the tool is completed I will uh, unpause the video and I will go further okay so now all the downloads and install are complete so I will click next and it's saying configuration overview so it's showing in initial configuration for a MySQL server we will click next and in here you will see the typical configuration for MySQL server so I want to use this server configuration type as a development machine but you have the option for server machine or dedicated machine but I want to use this server as a development machine so I will just uh, leave it as default and this is the default port on which the server will run 3306 so I will not change this port number and I will leave it as default because we are just uh, learning uh, this MySQL so we don't need to change this uh, if you don't have any real purpose for changing okay and I will click next and this is the most important step uh, of uh, MySQL installation you need to give a password for opening your database or to communicate with your database so in here you need to give your uh, password so for example I will give some password which I will remember later so you need to remember this password so just uh, give a password which you can remember and then repeat this that password and it's saying password week but uh, yeah for demo it's okay but give a small strong password for uh, this and I will click next and I will leave this as default the Windows service detail the service name which is mysql56 in my case I will leave it as default and I will click next configuring the product and you see new service added to the mentioned list here and click next so configuration of all the product will happen first and then the installation will be completed and click next and start mysql workbench so MySQL Workbench is a client tool with the help of which you can communicate with uh, the database and it's a GUI tool so you can see what is the structure of database and you can create database using MySQL Workbench. So I will uh, leave this checkbox as checked so that it will uh, directly launch Workbench after the setup. So I will click finish and it will launch MySQL Workbench now for me. So I will wait for the MySQL Workbench and you see here the MySQL Workbench is now launched. And here you can give the password or search for uh, the databases you see mysql doc library utilities and all the things but what in what we are interested in is the communication with the database right so just once again i will do this okay i will click here for the root username because I have given or uh, the default username is root just click this and will ask for the password which you have set so just uh, repeat the same password 
and click OK. And now you are connected with the database and you will see this overview here. Okay. And in here you will see the server status client and several number of things. But the things we are interested in is this one information schema these are the some of the default schema or uh, the databases which uh, is given by mysql for uh, uh, for as, a, as an example uh, databases what you can do is you can go to database and connect to database and click ok and give your password and once again you will see here so uh, this overview you can see in two ways either by going to the database and connect to the database or otherwise just click that route which I have shown you now it has some schema so let's see this schema from here which is uh, world schema and it has some tables so it has uh, these tables called city and country and country language so what i can do is in this world database i can go to the tables here and click the table i want to see so i will uh, for example i want to see the data in the city database this is the, by the way example database we are going to create our own database in uh, for the further video so don't worry about it but this is some of the sample databases which are provided by the mysql for us okay so i will right click the table i want to see so right click and just click this first option select rows limit thousand and you will see the data in those table in that table so the name of the table is city and this is the data in the table and this is called the query and this will produce the same result as this one if you execute this query so we are going to learn this query in uh, in the further videos also so don't worry about this query but yeah for seeing the data in the database you just need to click right click it and just see select rows limit thousand so this is how you can install and configure mysql in your windows operating system in the further videos i will uh, show you how you can create databases how you can query databases and some more features in mysql database so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now